And hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics. I hope you're all having a great day. We are going to talk about all the new comics releasing on Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. Before we begin, I always start with saying, hey, you're not going to see every possible cover or comic on here because things happen like that. We have subs and polls and other stuff. So you can go to downtowncomics.com, look at the new this week list to see all the choices and hopefully one of our stores has them or we can get it for you. So we're pretty good at that. Um, other than that, there is one thing I want to say is due to some shipping problems, Carnage and the X-Men number one reprint, which I believe is the 1990s X-Men one reprint, should be on this table but are not because we didn't actually get the books at this location. So those two titles you will not see, but they are out this week. So other than that, I think we should get going. It's a big week of books. So let's start with Marvel. And we're going to start with Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, number three. And if you're a Captain America fan, we have the first official crossover between the two Captain America titles. Uh, it's called Cold War, and this is the Alpha. So it's one of those mini events where there's an Alpha, some tie-in books to Sentinel and Symbol of Liberty. And then there's going to be an Omega, like an end issue. So you'll want to pick this up if you read either of the two Captain America books and maybe try the other one. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is a hit, and it gets a second printing for number one if you missed it. Fantastic Four is out this week. And yes, it's been a little hiatus, but Guardians of the Galaxy is coming into movie theater, so we've got a new Guardians title. And you get some pretty cool covers. Yeah, so. All right, so that should be fun. Uh, another new second print, Hallow's Eve number one gets a second print. We have a new Marvel Voices one-shot, and this one is tied to the Spider-Verse. So if you're a Spider-Verse fan, you may want to pick up this one-shot. I don't know if there's any new characters in there. Maybe. Uh, Miles Morales. And a brand new Predator number two. I like the new uh, 20th Century Studios logo they've got on the book. So they did that for Planet of the Apes last week, and now I guess the Predator. And I would expect the Alien stuff to also get that... That moniker. Uh, Silver Surfer Ghost Light number three. And another reprint. The Spider-Gwen Shadow Clones number one gets a second printing. Uh, we have Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 33. Dr. Afra is new. And then we have another one shot, the Ewoks. And a lot of variant covers for that. So... Star Wars High Republic. It's a Star Wars week. Number eight. And we're getting close to the end of the Sins of Sinister event. So we have the last issue of the Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants. Little three-parter. Uh, X-23, number two. And this is X-Men. X-Men 21. X-Men 21. All right. So big Marvel week. Again, Carnage and I guess a reprint of X-Men number one is also coming out. All right, some independents. Zilton. I, I have no idea. Or Ziltoin. Zil, Ziltoid? Ziltoid. Ziltoid, the omniscient. All right, from Opus. I don't know. Uh, Power Rangers Turtles. That's new. Our He-Man miniseries. Uh, Maniac of New York, Liquid Kill number two. I kind of like the first one. That was pretty good. Little Monsters, Legend Fall. So I believe, even though this is a D&D inspired cover, I think this is based off the Legend movie from the 80s. The one with, uh, was it David Bowie was the bad guy? Yeah, I think so. So I think this is a new one based in that movie franchise. Chroma. Hexware, Griffin, Galaxy's Most Wanted, The Giant Koku, looks like Big Monsters, 8 Billion Genies, new one of those. We have the Double Nightfall feature, Dark Ride, second issue of Clear by Scott Snyder. 
Children of the Black Sun, Briar number four, Black Cloak, and 007 is back for a new series from Dynamite, so that's a new one. And then we have, I think this is the second time they've crossed over, the Turtles and Usagi Yojimbo are crossing over again. So that's a new number one for that one. For Star Trek, we have the Defiant number two of that miniseries. And then our regular Star Trek series is on number six. All right, so we'll get back to Independence. Let's hit DC. Batman Incorporated. Batman The Adventures Continue, number four. Batman Scooby. Danger Street. And we still have some Lazarus Planet stuff left. The Revenge of the Gods miniseries still going on. The Multiversity Harley Screws Up the DCU, number two. Superman Lost, number two. Wildcats number six, and that's that's all for DC this week. All right, so a small DC week. Back to Independence, Nemesis Reloaded, Noctera number 12. Or I'm sorry, 12 is, that is a reprint. Noctera 13, sorry about that. Noctera 13, it's on. Phantom Road number one, that is a reprint. And then you get number two is new. So you can catch up on that. Radiant Black. The Red Zone. I like number one of this one. Uh, that was good. I like that. So look forward to read that. Rick and Morty. Spawn. Uh, I don't have the second cover. Uh-oh. Yep, Spawn's new. All right, we have another Frank Frazetta. This is called Tales of Science Fantasy. So if you've been a fan of this, his opus titles, you can try that one out. Stone Heart. The Seasons Have Teeth, number one. Traveling to Mars. War Party. And then this seems to be, uh, this is a new Tynan book, World Tree 33. So this has got a lot of, I guess if you, if you talk hype in our stores, it's getting a lot of uh, subscriber people trying to get onto this book. So this one, this one's really grown since it's been, it's been solicited. So I think people are catching up to this one so this one sounds interesting maybe check it out but Tynan usually does a good story all right well that's it so a big week of books more Marvel than DC this week but yeah some great stuff I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video please like and subscribe that always helps and share to other people that you know that like comics and maybe would be interested in this kind of content I appreciate you guys and I will uh, see you at the stores hope you have a great day Bye-bye.